morning kids how are you all hope you all are doing fine so in our last classes we finished fifth chapter okay and even the exercise half of the exercise we have finished so today we will complete of the rest of the exercise so get ready with your readers at page number 38 okay so here the first read on the page 38 is of speaking skill so what do you have to do you know isn't it you have to do this at your homes with your parents or brothers or sisters cousins whoever your friends okay so what do you have to uh, do in this you have to guess the animal okay you have to play a game of guessing an animal here these two friends are playing that game so how they are playing so the first partner is asking the animal lives on land so the next one is guessing as does it eat or grass so you have to uh, give the hints like does it eat or gra uh, grass or flesh so it will uh, the uh, your friend will say it as it eats grass so here then the partner will say it does it have a trunk or hump guessing you have to give the points you have to give the hints as in guessing so you can ask anything like uh, it is asking here okay, does it have a hump or trunk so the uh, other person is asking as neither a trunk nor a hump it doesn't even had a trunk or a hump so is it found in hot regions so the answer if you get the correct answer the uh, your friend if it guesses correct you have to say yes it lives in hot regions is it wild or domestic so wild animal hai or domestic animal hai? so if it is wild you have to say wild if it is domestic you have to say domestic so here this one is wild does it have black and white stripes it's also another hint so the answer if the answer is yes yes if the answer is no then no so here the answer is yes so then you can finally find the answer that it is as a zebra okay so this game you can play it with any kind of animal like elephant or um, camels fishes any kind of animal okay fine so now come up to the next one it's a writing skill write a story with the help of picture and the outlines so here in this picture we can see a crane is helping a fox isn't it a fox is being helped by a crane so what's the story outline we'll see here a bone gets stuck in a wolf's throat tries hard to get it out but fails goes to a crane request to pull the bone out promises a reward the crane does the job ask for the reward your head is safe isn't it a reward so yahan pe kya hints diye gaye hame we have been given ke a bone struck it struck into the throat of a wolf bone kya hua ye wolf ke throat mein struck ho gaya bahut koshish kare nikalne ki fir bhi nahi nikla to what it did it went to a crane crane ke paas jaake help mange so crane ask for a reward okay reward means uske badal mein if i take out the bone from your throat mujhe kya milega so the fox is promises a reward fox kya karta hai usko promise karta hai ek reward dene ka so when the crane takes out the bone from the fox throat the crane ask for a reward so what does the fox replies he says ke your head is safe isn't it a reward so here yeah, the uh, we can see the cunningness of the fox eh, na so what we have to do we have to write a story we have to write a story we have to make this outline points into a paragraph so how will you write we'll write it as one day a bone gets stuck in a wolf's throat eh, na he tries hard to get it out but fails he then goes to a crane and requests to pull the bone out he promises the crane a reward the crane takes out the bone and asks for the reward as the fox is a cunning animal he forgets his promise once the bone is removed instead he gives warning to the crane he shouts at the crane your head is safe isn't it a reward hai na we have to make the story like this so we'll get the picture of this so from there you can copy now just for fun next bit here write words in place of pictures then copy the paragraph in your notebook so no need of copying it in the notebook do it in the reader itself what you have to do your pictures have been given 
Based uh, seeing this picture, you have to write the name. Okay. Like first one. Yesterday I went with my. Whose picture it is? It's a picture of father. So you have to write here father. On a farm. The farm was full of. The picture of birds is given. So write birds. Birds and the picture is of animals. So write animals there. So birds and animals. Rabbits. Picture is of rabbits. Rabbits were hopping on the grass. A monkey. We can see a monkey. Na? Right monkey here. A monkey was sitting on a tree eating Picture is of mangoes. So, write mangoes. Eating mangoes. I took my bat, B-A-T, bat and ball we played there. Hey na? Got it? So, see it here once again. Yesterday, I went with my father on a farm. The farm was full of birds and animals. Rabbits were hoping on the grass. A monkey was sitting on a... A monkey was sitting on a tree eating mangoes. I took my bat and ball. We played there. Okay, kids? Fine. Now come to the next one. Thinking skill. Solve the following puzzle to get the name of a bird. Match it with the picture. Okay. So here, the first one is picture of a crown is given. And the spelling is C-R-O-W-N, crown. Okay. And the N is, the letter N is striked out. So, what it is left? C R O W crow. N kya wa usme se? Strike out kar diya gaya. To kya letters bache? C R O W crow. So, it is being matched with the uh, bird crow. Hai na? Okay. So, now, look the next second one. Picture of pen is given plus G U plus I N is given. So, write it here. Pen. Okay. P E N. Pen. G U I N. So, what did it became? Penguin. So, it's a name of a bird. So, take it to the penguin. Here it is. Okay. Now, next one. Picture of bulb is given. Then we have to add UL to it. So, okay. Write bulb here. B -U -L -B, B-U-L-B. Bulb. Then add UL. So, what name of a bird it is? Bull. Bull. Where it is? It is here. Take bull bull to it. Play. Picture. Now, next one. S. P, write S P, then picture of arrow is given. So write A R R O W. So what bird it what what's the name of that bird then? It formed sparrow. So take it to picture of sparrow. Okay, now next one. King. The picture of king is given. Plus picture of fish is given. Write fish. K I N G King F I S H fish. Then add E R. The name of the bird formed is Kingfisher. So, where is Kingfisher? It's here. Okay, with a long beak. Fine kids? So, the picture is of Kingfisher. So, with this we finish our fifth lesson exercises. So, till our next class we will start our sixth chapter. Till then try to complete the classwork, try to complete the exercise of the reader. So, stay home, stay safe and don't trouble your parents.